kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hi guys, it's Jody. Wagwan Wagwan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another amazing, delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna make some Jamaican steamed cabbage with some sad fish. Yes. Guys, may I tell you, this right here is gonna be super, super delicious. Your families, your friends, everybody are gonna enjoy it. Yes. So guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share it, guys. Share, share, share. When you share my video, that means my channel grow. So please continue to share my video, guys, to all your families, your friends, everyone on WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube. Guys, I appreciate it so, so, so much. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the video. So guys, I'm going to start off with my cabbage. I'm not going to use uh, all of this cabbage. I'm going to cut it in half because this cabbage is really, really big. Yes. And I also have carrot. This is at least half carrot to one carrot that as you can see I cut. These are my sweet pepper because I love my cabbage to be nice and colorful. So that's the reason why I'm adding the sweet pepper. So you have the red, the green and the yellow. And this is half, okay? And this is the way I cut it. You can cut it in whichever way you prefer. So these are all of my seasoning. Here I have one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of my jerk seasoning, which is totally optional. Here I also have at least one tablespoon of my fresh thyme, scallion, at least one stalk of scallion, scotch bonnet pepper, you know, so I'm not going to use everything because we all know that scotch bonnet pepper is really spicy. So I'm going to use at least one tablespoon. And I also have one teaspoon of my pimento seed and at least two cloves of garlic, okay, that I finely chop. And this is half onion. And this is at least, guys, one and a half tomato that I cut, okay? Yes. This is my sawfish. And I'm using boneless sawfish. You can use the one that have the bone as well. But I'm just going to use this. You know, sawfish, otherwise I'll cut fish. But guys, it is really, really salt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to boil it. Yes, I'm going to boil it at least one to two times. You know, just to remove most of the salt away from it. Yes, you can also soak it overnight in some water. Yeah, that way also it will help the salt to, you know, remove from it. Guys, as I said, I'm going to cut my cabbage in two. So my nails, my nails match the cabbage. <laughs> nice. I'm thinking if I should cut it like this or this way. Okay, let me cut it round. Yeah, that's perfect. Sometimes if you get any old part on the cabbage, you can just, you know, remove it. I just cut it back in two. So easier, you know, easier for cut. So guys, you can just do like this. Just make sure that you take your time. Just cut it, yeah. I love steamed cabbage with sawfish. It's a long time I haven't made it, but I truly like it. Are you a fan of steamed cabbage with sawfish? The sawfish give it a nice flavor, very nice flavor. 
This is the tough part. I'm just gonna put some of it in my glass bowl right here. So guys, now that I finished cut my cabbage, I'm just gonna wash it, okay? Yes, I'm gonna give it a good, good wash. So stay tuned. So now guys, I'm gonna boil my sawfish and I use some hot water from my kettle. And guys, this is 250 gram of sawfish. I believe it's around half pound. Let's add it just like so. And I'm gonna boil it, as I said, two times, yeah? I'm just gonna half cover it so it doesn't boil over. So guys, it's been boiling for just over 10 minutes. So this is what it looks like. And as I said, you can change the water at least two times, okay? Yes. I'm just gonna remove all the water from it. So guys, what you can do, you can just run it over some hot water. And as I said, this sawfish that I have, it is boneless sawfish. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, you know, try and put it apart. Like so. You don't want it to be, you know, too big. So guys, to my pot, I add at least three tablespoons of my olive oil. So now that my pot is all heated up, I'm gonna firstly add my onion. I'm just gonna leave it for at least 15 seconds or so. So now I'm going to add my garlic, leave it for 10 seconds, then I'm going to add my carrot and my bell peppers. My scotch bonnet pepper. Give it a stir and I'm just going to leave it guys for at least 15 seconds, okay? Not for so long. So what I did, I add my pimento seed with my seasoning. It is optional. So I'm just going to blend it and I'm just going to add some of my seasoning, just a small amount. And now I'm going to add my sawfish. Give it a stir. I'm going to leave it for at least one minute, okay? Then I add my cabbage. This look amazing, absolutely delicious. So now guys, I'm gonna add my cabbage. If there's a little bit of water left back, just add it, okay?
I'm just gonna add my seasoning and my pimento seed, just like so. Just mix it in. It smells so good. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. So guys, I'm going to add my tomato. Guys, I'm just gonna cut my fresh thyme. Make sure that you give it a wash. My scallion. You can always taste it to your liking. If you need any more, you need salt, you can also add a bit of salt. But try and taste it, okay? I'm just gonna add just a bit more of my black pepper. At least half teaspoon. And I'm just going to mix it all in. I'm also going to add some butter. And I'm adding, yeah, I'm going to add at least one tablespoon of my butter. Try and add unsalted butter. And guys, if you want, you can also add some ketchup to it, at least one tablespoon of ketchup, but it is totally optional, okay? I normally would add a little ketchup, but I'm not going to add no ketchup this time, because it looks super delicious. And especially, I add the tomato in it also. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. This is like food prawn. So guys, I'm just going to cover it up with a lid and my stove is on a medium heat and I'm going to allow it to cook for at least 20 minutes, okay? 15 to 20 minutes, yes. guys it is all finished I'm gonna turn my stove off look at that absolutely delicious perfect see it nice and cooked down this is exactly what you want this right here guys with some fried dumpling or some boiled banana yam I tell you a good food is do you see how many juice it make look at that perfect and as I said guys you can always taste it to your liking if you need any salt any more all-purpose seasoning Anything you can always add, okay? Taste you like. So now guys, I'm just going to plate it up.
absolutely delicious it tastes so 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 good i cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe because i know you all are going to enjoy it it is cooked to perfection so guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share 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 i thank you all so much in advance until next time bye love you all thank you so much for all the love and your support i really really appreciate it Subscribe for more of these delicious recipes. Hit the thumbs up and share a